Hello, hello, hello there. It is your mom of three in NYC, and I am back with another video. Oh, hello. If this is your first time on my channel, come on through. My name is Tanisa. I am the mother of three opinionated, all three, all three opinionated kids living in the heart of New York City. I would love to welcome you to join my YouTube family, my tribe. All you have to do is S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E, S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E, -E, subscribe below. If you are already subscribed to my channel, I heart you, and please make sure that your post notifications are turned on so that you never, ever, 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 ever miss a video. This video, my friends, is a review slash recap of Project Runway All-Stars. Project Runway All-Stars. Season 20, episode number seven. Let's just jump into it. Season 20, episode number seven. This episode, and it's wild. You're gonna see how it all connects. But my very first note is Fabio decided to amp up his design. Right there. Fabio decided to amp up his design. Keep that in the back of your head. All right. They all, the designers, I think we have nine left. Yes, we have nine designers left. We started with how many? 14, I think. Let me see. I believe we started with 14. We have nine designers. They all go to the runway to meet Christian Siriano for their next challenge. What is that challenge, you may ask? Thanks for asking. This episode, the challenge is to create a high fashion look showcasing couture-like undergarments. Not lingerie, you are to take undergarments and feature them in a new, cool way. Create a high fashion look showcasing couture-like undergarments. It's a one-day challenge. They are given 30 minutes to sketch. And then they all go back to like the workroom and Bishmay starts running. I'm like, why are they running? Their model cards were just sitting there. Like, who does that? The model cards were just sitting there on the table and they just grabbed for a model. I said they run to grab model cards. There are men and women in this challenge. Men and women. They go to Mood to Shop. They are given 30 minutes to shop at Mood. And because Laurence won the last week's challenge, she gets an extra $100. Everyone else gets $450 to shop. Laurence gets $550. The design plans are as follows. So Laurence, she's gonna make a suit with a bomber jacket. She's gonna incorporate the challenge of the couture-like undergarment as a semi-corset. She picked out the most beautiful beautiful like blush rose color pink and she had a male model so she wanted to do that contrast according to Laurence, having a male model means they are their body is more straight it's not curvy like a woman so it, she thinks it'll be easier project he wants to create a branded meaning his name jock strap white corset with black boning and a trench bomber. Fabio, he's gonna actually use his fabric from home. It's a tangerine orange fabric. He wants to create a tiny brief underwear with sheer shorts overlay, a camisole top, and he calls it a boxer's robe. Brittany, 
is going to create a skirt and couture cups. Anna, she's actually working with her very first male model. She wants to create an unusual avant-garde beaded corset jumpsuit with bleeding nipple cones. Yeah, you heard that. Bleeding nipple cones. The inspiration for this look is the infection that she got while breastfeeding her infant son. And she gives TMI. I'm going to spare you guys. I'm going to spare you guys. That's her inspiration. Rami, he said, according to Rami, you need imagination to elevate underwear. He wants to create a thin waistband where the skirt just hangs off. Kato is creating a negligee with a jacket or a skirt. She's going for sexy, feminine, and classy. Karasan, she by far, in my opinion, Tanae's opinion, had the best story for her inspiration. When you can tell a story and hit the nail on the head, so she is inspired by the Tulsa Massacre of 1921. She wants to honor the women of Black Wall Street in 1921 inspired dress. And absolutely here for it. Christian's visit. He stops at Fabio's first. He tells Fabio that the shape that he has created is not exciting. Brittany, he's giving him sexy nurse. And sexy tennis player is a little bit better. She goes to the sportswear look for couture-like undergarments. Rami is creating a light flowy skirt. The top bra is encased in chainmail. He refuses to be defined as dated. Anna, lots of draping. She's combining feminine and masculine. And this whole bleeding nipple corset, Christian just says no. He wasn't even like, do you, are you sure? Do you like, he said no, mm -mm. nope, nope. He X marks the spot, according to Christian. Fishmay is making a pinstripe cargo pant with a lace, sheer lace on the side, a bra with lace, dramatic over the top jacket with his signature shoulders. And Christian doesn't ask him once or twice. Christian asks him three times. Like, are you sure? Are you sure about those shoulders? Are you sure? Which we said, yeah. Mm hmm. Ten toes down. Ten toes down. And he has nothing, right? He the models are coming in for their fitting soon. And Christian's like, you have nothing to fit. Vishme says, I can fit her in my thoughts. <laughs> I'm here for Vishme. He's spicy and I'm here for it. Karasan has a sketch. And this, my friends, is the first challenge where she has a sketch. She has never had a sketch to show Christian before. He has a sketch for the first time all season. Her model, it, she's going to dress with a 20s vibe. And Christian warns her, don't go too costumey. Praje, jockstrap with corset, a kilt that's dropped low and an oversized bomber jacket. He's a lot to make. One day challenge, a lot. Model fitting, Kato, they are going to think it is a mess, Christian says. She has this hanging piece in the front. It's a lot, it's a lot going on. Karasan, she wants to pleat her sleeves, but she also wants to make sure that the undergarment is the star of the show. Praje, he ends up canceling the jock strap, but has the briefs still featuring his name on them. It's very, very, gives me a very Calvin Klein underwear. Fabio, he feels defeated. He feels defeated. He said that he feels defeated on something that he really believes in. All the designers are stressed out. They are. It's a lot of work for all of them. Fabio, we see him the next morning. He got a good night's sleep away from his garment. He is reminded 
of the strong women in his family and he will dedicate this design to them. He was raised by his grandmother who taught him how to sew. His mother came to the States. He was raised by his grandmother in Brazil who taught him how to sew. His mother came to the States to build a better life for him. All right, day of the runway show. So Nina is not there. She could not make it. In her place is a fashion designer named Sergio Hudson. He has dressed Kamala Harris, Michelle Obama, among many others. The guest judge today is international supermodel Paulina Porzkova. Okay, girl, got it the first time. All right, runway show is here. The first model out models Prajay. The kilt over the briefs. The next model to walk is Kato's designer. She redesigned her top so it's like literally like a bikini top and a skirt. Bishmay. Mimi is his model. Showcases the bralette with the exaggerated shoulders of the jacket. I mean, she gives it, gives it all to us. She models it. Let's just say that. She models it. Fabio. His model actually gives us some, some energy as well. And it actually drops the kimono on the runway, on the way up, and on the way back, leaves it there on the runway. Carousel on the white sheer dress with the feathers on the top. And all the judges and I are amazed. Like, how in 12 hours did you build this beautiful piece of art? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Piece of heaven. That's what the judges say. Piece of heaven. That is what the judges call it. Anna, corset and skirt look clean. Brittany, definitely lean toward active, a little bit couture. Mixes, high fashion, ready to wear and active wear. Rami, the delicate details of lace and silk gives a very effortless, chic. Effortless, chic, fabulous, wearable feel. Laurent's. The blazer has a tuxedo touch to it. The pant and the corset, beautiful blush color. Beautiful blush color. The designers that are in, that are safe, Brittany with her, her mix of high fashion, ready to wear and active wear, she is safe. Bishmay, his look is safe. The bralette with a jacket with the exaggerated shoulder. The judges warm Bishmay. He has to remix that shoulder. We've seen it like four times, four times now. And then Anna, Anna is safe as well. Brittany, Bishmay, and Anna are the designers that are in. There are three top designers and three bottom designers. The top designer number one is Rami. It's his first time on the top. Romance was in the air. Brian Maxwell was impressed by his craftsmanship of the skirt. Elaine said it was effortless, using no underwire or rigid structure. Another top look they love, Prajay. Gender neutral, yet all the elements are of gender. When styling goes right, Sergio said. Unfortunately, the look was not a favorite of Brandon Maxwell, so we know it's not going to be the winner. I, at least I did. I knew at that point it's not going to win, but great design. The third look of the evening that was a favorite, Carasan. Carasan. Modern version of the 1920s. The panty was made out of silk wool. This is where Sergio Hudson just should shine. He shined right here knowing his fabrication so well. So the panty was made out of silk wool, but it laid beautifully, like it was made of spandex. Elaine said that this design, league of your own, league of its own, beautiful movie star where you could see through her dress without it being vulgar was the way Paulina the supermodel described the look. It was effortlessly gorgeous. It was so beautiful, you guys. It gives you all the feels. The bottom three designers, unfortunately, were Fabio, Laurent, and Kato. 
According to the judges, Fabio's silk organza fabric from Brazil, the look looked like a shower curtain caught in a fishing net, said Paulina. It was visually confusing. Nina would tell him to edit. Again, I think that Fabio has been considered safe multiple times now, and he kind of went all the way to the other end of the spectrum. Lifting up that top, two of the judges wished that he had cut that because again, you couldn't get the full effect of the challenge of the undergarment. Laurence, according to Sergio, it's not bad at all. It's just not a shining moment. Brandon Maxwell said the undergarment was an afterthought. We asked her. He said, was the undergarment an afterthought? And she's like, no. <laughs> I'm still here for Laurence and her one word answers. Elaine said, why would you put, it looked like a girdle on a six pack, her, her half of corset. Kato, Paulina liked the skirt. She was confused by the top. Elaine, the top feels unfitting and overwhelming. According to Brian, it's just not that innovative. In my opinion, Kato explaining to the judges what had happened, that she had a design and she ended up redesigning it. It, I, in my notes right here, I said that saved her. In my mind, I knew Kato was going to be saved, right? Because Sergio was the biggest fan of hers and let it be known. And it was good for her to hear that. But when she explained why the design was the way it was, in my opinion, that saved her from being voted out. I said, Sergio is a fan. She is not going home. Look right there, guys. In my opinion... They began to deliberate. So, Praje, unique and original, but it was not quite couture. Carasan, her look was spectacular, like a million bucks. Rami took the idea of an undergarment, showed it in a way that we have not seen. Who's going home? The judges deliberate. According to Paulina, Fabio had great elements, but too many ingredients. They were piled on. All he had to do was take the piece off the stomach. Elaine wonders where his time went. Kato, the bra was ill-fitting. The cups were lopsided, according to Elaine. The skirt was tacked and gathered. I don't know that the design said anything, Brian Maxwell said. Sergio said the look was uninspired. And this is when Paulina says that she was reminded of her grandma's lace napkins. According to Brenda Maxwell, Nina would just say that Laurent had a bad night. And when they said Fabio and Kato side by side, which is worse, I was like, Laurent is fine then, she's safe. You guys are making it obvious to us now that she's gonna be safe. If you put Fabio and Kato side by side, which is worse. The winning look, excellent in execution, perfectly showcased, undergarments in high fashion, was Carson. <laughs> Yay! She gets a hand. Excellent. And she loved her design. And it, it was beautiful. Laurent is safe. So we know Praje and Rami are safe from the top. Carson is the winner. Laurent is in. So now it's between Fabio and Kato. Fabio, his look had too many ideas, unfocused, did not highlight the undergarment. Kato, did not understand the fabric choice. The bra did not fit. It was not a cohesive look. The designer that is going home is Fabio. I'm going to miss Fabio. I like Fabio. Fabio is out. He said that he never compromised and that he hopes that inspired someone. Fabio is out. Guys, we're down to eight designers. Eight designers left. All right, all right, all right. As always, any comments, drop them down below. Otherwise, I will look forward to seeing you, my designers, in my next review. Bye for now, designers.